Hi everybody. We're going to talk about simple interest today. But I want to talk about it by firstly defining what interest is. And the best way to define what interest is and illustrate what interest is, is to look at yourself and to look at a bank. When you deposit money in a bank, you are given a return. Let's call your deposit principal or P. And let's call that return interest or I. When you deposit P, you are given interest. Now, interest is calculated through looking at how much P you have, the rate that they are offering on the deposit, and for how long you are depositing P for in the bank. And therefore, your simple interest formula is simply your principal multiplied by your simple interest rate multiplied by time. Now, that's a pretty simple formula. However, there is an aspect of it that you must note. Your simple interest rate and your time must be in the same time units. Now, what do I mean by the same time units? In the example where you have invested P in the bank for two years, so two years, your T would naturally equal two. However, let's say you invested for six months. Your T would equal six on 12. Why would I say that? Because your rate is usually given as a percentage per annum. And because your rate is given as a percentage per annum, your T must be in the same units as your rate. And therefore, you have invested six months for six months of the 12 months in a year. So therefore, your T would not equal six, but six on 12 years. Let's say it was 12 weeks. T would equal 12 on 52 years. 180 days. T would equal 180 on the total number of days in a year, which is 365 years. Now, let's talk about the different questions that you may be presented with in regards to simple interest different type of problems that you may encounter. But let's write out our formula first. Your simple interest is your principal multiplied by your simple interest rate multiplied by the time. Now what I like to do, instead of memorizing this, I like to draw out this little diagram. In this diagram, I'm going to put interest on top and I'm going to put my principal, my simple interest rate and my time at the bottom. So, if I'm presented with a problem where I am finding the interest, if I scratch that part out and I have my principal and my simple interest rate and T at the bottom, that must mean that my interest is found by principal multiplied by the rate multiplied by time. In the instance where I needed to find principal, put my eye on top, principal on the left, right in the middle, T there, and let's say I needed to find the principal, the initial value invested. I scratched that part out, and what's left in the diagram is my formula, which is I on R multiplied by time. Another example. You've got I on the top, principal, R, and T. Let's say you wanted to find how much the bank was giving you as a simple interest rate. Scratch that part out. I on principal multiplied by time. And the last problem that you may encounter is finding time. How long you have invested for in the bank. Scratch, time out, what you have left is now your formula to find time. Now let's go through an example just to make sure we understand this. This example, Peter can purchase a laptop on a one year simple interest loan at 10% per annum. Calculate the interest payment on a $1,000 loan. Essentially the same concept. 
When I was describing it earlier, I was referring to deposits, but now we're looking at a loan. So let's write out what we definitely have. What are the variables we have? We have principal, which is 1,000. We have our simple interest rate, which is 10% per annum. And our time is one year. It's already in a yearly basis, just like our rate. So that's fine. Now let's draw out our diagram. I, P, R, and T. Now what variable are we missing here? We're missing I. So we must be trying to find the interest payment. As illustrated in the question, we're trying to find I. So what's left in this diagram? Principal multiplied by rate multiplied by time. Let's put it in. 1,000 multiplied by 10% multiplied by 1. Simple enough. $100 must be the interest payment that we will make on the loan of $1,000.